Continuing with the video from the previous page, looking at this right triangle with one angle measure of 42 degrees, we would know by using the angle sum that the other angle should be 48 degrees because um, the uh, 48 plus 42 would be 90 plus the other 90 is 180. So if we use our calculator, we can actually find these trig ratios, sine, cosine, tangent, even without any side lengths. So if I wanted to look at this angle that was given 40 degrees, and I wanted to look at the, the uh, sine ratio, the sine of 42 degrees would be equal to its opposite side. Now I'm going to purposefully give these letter values. Its opposite side would be over here, would be X, uh, and it's the hypotenuse, I'm gonna call it H, would be there, okay? Now, if you look at um, the 48 degree angle, just to give you an idea of how good this calculator really is. Let's take a look at the cosine of 48 degrees. Now, cosine is defined as adjacent. Notice that X is adjacent to 48, even though it was opposite 42. So it's still going to be X and the hypotenuse is still going to be H. Well, notice that these are the same. They're both X over H. So the sine of 42 degrees and the cosine of 48 degrees should be a matching. Now I can actually find that even though I don't have any numbers because it is proportional. No matter, In other words, no matter how big of a triangle we create, we're going to get the same value every time. So I pull up my calculator. All right, I can uh, clear this out for a second. I'm going to type sine of 42 degrees, 42, all right, trigonometry, sine. There's a number. Memorize it, 0.669, all right, 0.669. Let's do the same thing with cosine, 48 degrees and uh, cosine, 0.669. You're like, you may be thinking, what are these decimals? Well, these side lengths, um, they probably had to use square roots, Pythagorean theorem to sort of figure it out. They're not nice whole numbers. They're going to be mostly messy values like that. All right, and the reason it's less than one is because we're taking the opposite or adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the largest side. It's always going to be less than one for sine and cosine values. That's interesting to see. Okay, I hope that's making some sense there of how you can use your calculator to do that. And another thing I want to note about the calculator is there is degree mode, and there's another way to measure angles. Well, there's several ways, but another common one is called radians. If you're in radian mode, it will not work. Make sure you're in degree mode. All right, let's take a look briefly at a GeoGebra sketch so we can learn a little bit more about it. So if I were to look and think about um, uh, two points and a line through those, okay, let's just take a look at this for a second. You might remember from an algebra course that you could examine the slope of a line by sort of counting these. Right, you, you'd, one, you take the look at the at the rise, one, two, three, four, five, right? Or excuse me, that was the run, right? And the rise, one, two, three. So this this triangle, if we uh, excuse me, this line, if we go back and think about slope, has a three fifths um, slope. Well, that would also mean that if I went over ten and went up six, I would also expect to be the, uh, on the line because six to ten is the same as <clears throat> three to five, and um, those are things to think about. So. You may be wondering, what does that have to do with a right triangle? Well, think about a triangle. Let me see if I can get one here. A triangle that was formed by looking at these three points. And you can see that three and five would actually represent, for a given angle, it would represent um, the opposite and adjacent. All right, it would represent sort of the tangent function. And so what, what happens is we think about a line as it holds proportionality throughout its existence. So likewise, triangles will hold that, and that's why we can use our calculator to find those values. Totally cool, blows my mind at first, but when you think about it more, you see how cool it really is.